All right, we'll start by checking the first three that you had to do. Uh, we have one foot equals 12 inches. We know that. So how many feet would 58 inches be? Uh, so every 12 inches that we have is going to be another foot. So again, I could make one of those charts. Uh, one foot, 12. Two foot, 24. Three, 36. Four, 48. Five, 60. And I could tell that 58 inches is just below five feet, not quite five feet. So it's going to be four something. It's two inches below five feet, so that would be four feet, 10 inches. So I know that's going to be my answer. Four feet, 10 inches. Okay. Uh, but let's do it a different way here. Let's actually do the conversion. So we know that for the 58 inches we have, we need to cut it into 12 pieces. So I can just simply do 58 uh, divided by 12. Uh, and if I do 58 divided by 12, I'm going to get 4 uh, with a lot of decimals after it. And actually it comes out to be like 4.8, 4 and 8 tenths. Okay? Notice that 0 0.8 and your 10 inches is not the same. This decimal is never what the leftover is. It's never what the remainder is. So if you actually did this problem, and I can do it right here. Uh, if I do 58 divided by 12, that's going to go in there, uh, let's see here, 4 times, which is going to be 48. Take away is 10. There's where we get that 10 inches at. We've got a remainder of 10. Now, how we got that decimal was uh, 10 left out of 12. 10 out of 12, if you did that on a calculator, just like with our probability stuff that we did, top divided by bottom, 10 divided by 12 is going to be 0.8 with some other numbers after. That's how we get that part. Down at the bottom, this next one, 1 yard equals 3 feet, 23 yards equals how many feet? Okay. Uh, so I could do this. I could go 1 yard, 3 feet, 2 yards, 6 feet, 3 yards, 9 feet, and just keep going on all day. Uh, but the pattern is, for every one yard, it's three feet. So I can just basically say 23 yards times three. I know that 23 yards is going to be nine and six. Okay, so then that's going to be our answer. Um, put in there. This number is bigger than this one because this unit of measure is smaller. So this would be your answer for this. We would have 69 feet in 23 yards. The bottom one down here, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So for every one ton, we've got 2,000 pounds, which would mean that two tons is going to be 4,000 pounds, three tons is going to be 6,000 pounds, four tons is going to be 8,000 pounds. So we know that we're going to be just above three tons. Okay, That's what our answer is going to be. Uh, but what we can do is just figure this out. I can actually just do the division problem here. Uh, let's see here. 6,500 divided by 2,000. I know that 2,000 would go 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. So that would go in there uh, three times. Three times 2,000 would be 6,000. So if we look at it, 6,500, 6,000, we're going to have a remainder of 500. So we're going to have three full tons with a remainder of 500 pounds. Okay, that would be your answer for that last one. Right, let's look at the last three that you had to do to get checked. Uh, one pound is 16 ounces, 12 pounds is how many ounces? Basically what we're saying is that for every one pound we have 16 ounces. So every one of these pounds there's 16 ounces that go with it. So one of the pounds would be 16, two of the pounds would be another 16, three of the pounds would be another 16, which basically boils down to 12 sixteens. So if I do 16 times 12, uh, I believe that is 192. So we just put this right in here, 192 ounces. Next question. Now I can look at this one and just see really easily here that we have 10 times more pints here. Okay, So I'm just going to put times 10. To get from 1 pint to 10 pints is 10 times as much. So if I do the same thing, make the other one 10 times as much, 2 times 10 is going to be 20 cups. 
Now, another, I mean, to do this more of how we did it up here, uh, basically we're saying that for every one pint, we have two cups. We have 10 pints. So for every pint, we have two. So that means we're going to have 10 twos, which would just be 10 times 2, which would be 20. So we got our 20 cups. This last one, uh, let's see here, 1 gallon equals 4 quarts. Uh, again, I can see that if we know these are equal, I see that 4 to 40 is 10 times bigger. So I'll just do times 10 there also. It's almost like this one right here. Um, if I know that this is 10 times bigger, what we're trying to get, this one's also going to be 10 times bigger. So 1 times 10 is just going to be 10 gallons. That would be your answer. Now, if we didn't do that or didn't know how to do that, it's still a pretty easy problem. Basically, we have our 40 quarts. And we're trying to figure out how many gallons that would be. For every uh, 4 quarts, that condenses or combines it into 1 gallon. So basically what I want to do here is I want to make groups of 4. When I make groups of 4 are split into a certain number of pieces, that's division. So i got to do 40 divided by 4. Uh, and again, it gets us our 10 gallons that we thought it might be to start with. So your answer would be 10 gallons for that one.